Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this is the Blickman Brew Easy Compact All-in-One Brewing System, if I can spit all that out. Like I said, this is gonna be a series. So this is part two. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing, definitely appreciate it. So you bought a Blickman Brew Easy Compact All-in-One Brewing System. I don't care if you bought the gas or the electric or you bought the 120 or the 240. We're gonna go over everything relating to the 240 which we'll cover some for the one, actually I'll cover pretty much everything for the 120, just different electrical. And it'll cover a lot of things that apply to the gas system. We are gonna be doing tri-clamp over NPT, not a big difference. There are some differences, but not a big difference. But this video is just that, to cover everything. Because when I opened this thing up, the most common reference I had was, wow, why does it have so many parts? And this thing has a ton of parts. And I do mean a ton. And I don't want people to be overwhelmed. There's a lot of great videos out already on this system and parts of this system, but I felt like, you know, it's better to have overkill or even have things on videos that haven't been out there on things that some people might assume are really easy. That might not be so easy for other people. I mean, everybody's different. I learn really well from visual. I'm not real good at sitting and reading things. I like the visuals. I will read it. But once I watch it visually, a lot of what I read starts to make a lot more sense. I also am a very big hands-on person. So... Everybody learns differently, and I'm here to see if I can't help make everything easier. It is a brew easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just compact, but it's got a lot of parts. So here we go. We've got the G2 boil maker. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna set, oh yeah, and it comes with a Roman shield for free. It's just a lid, just saying, but you know, it's kind of cool. We have all these things in here, and that's what I'm saying. It's got so many things. You're like, what did I buy? I don't want you to be overwhelmed. I want to make sure everybody understands and can go through every step piece by piece. And for the people who really are like, yeah, whatever, I just wanna watch you boil with it or brew with it or whatever, then great, we can go on to other videos. But for everybody who's considering this system or maybe just bought this system, I wanna make sure, or they're comparing it to other systems comparable. Yeah, let's go over it, let's go over all the parts and let's make sure we can make this as easy as it is to use, as it is to be set up. You know what I mean saying? Okay. so. The Riptide. You'll open it up, it'll literally come just like this. You won't have to put anything together, but we will do a breakdown of the Riptide later. So I'm going to set that out of the way. We're going to move the Riptide box. We're going to take the Therminator plate chiller. We're going to set that out of the way. And now I'm just going to empty the pot. Quite literally empty the pot. You're going to get a bunch of bags. My recommendation, do not open the bags. Keep all the bags separate. So when you go to build the system, you will do one bag at a time as you build the system. It'll make life a lot easier. I do mean a lot easier. So we're gonna set that down there. We'll get this other box out of our way. Hey, guess what? Another bag. And as I reach in, another bag. Another bag. Yes, each of these bags is a reference to something different. Temperature probe. This will come with some of these parts. And they're off to the side. They will, they will all go with the brew commander. Okay, we'll set that aside. Get our basket. I'm gonna slide that up to the front. We'll move this back down here with the bag. Nice instruction manuals. I will recommend reading the instruction manuals, but there was probably even more information online, but the instruction manuals are always good to read, especially when you spent this kind of money on such a nice system. Don't wanna screw it up because you forgot to read the manual. General manual, just on the actual boil maker. You get a manual for the pump. There is a little informational manual, the Therminator. There are lots of manuals, lots of paperwork. More paperwork than I've seen in most things. Most things, they want you to scan a QR code and go to the web. I hate that. It's your little recirculation system for doing whirlpool, or not recirculation, I'm sorry, whirlpool, whirlpool system. More screws, clamps, connectors. It's part of the recirculation system. And you're like, what is that? It helps to tell you what the flow, how much liquid's flowing. And it measures it in, if I remember right, gallons per, yeah, gallons per minute or liters per minute based on where you want to set it. And you can kind of preset this little guide. So that way your indicator, you can crank it up or down to get to the red thing without having to try to read it in case the sun's too bright and there's glare. And 
I must have taken something out of this bag. It's an empty bag. It's hope. <laughs> and that's it. We're empty. And as you noticed, sight glass. I mean, there's so many other things already on here. You got so many holes. You're like, what is up with all the holes? Yeah. My recommendation when you first go to get it all set up, if you don't want to watch all this and you do it yourself, do not brew in it the first time. Go through it with just water. That way, if you have a leak, you don't have a problem. If something doesn't work because you screwed up and didn't connect it correctly, you don't have a problem. The sight glass is connected with an Allen wrench type system. They include the Allen wrench. You can take it apart to clean it. They even include some little brushes for cleaning things too, which was pretty cool. And yes, it's heavy. The pot's heavy, you need to be careful. Here's your heating system. It's a three prong 240 for me. If you're 120, you're gonna have a different little three prong. So make sure you have that. If you don't have that, you can get an adapter where your dryer connector is. If you don't have your own separate 240, something to be aware of. This is heating element. <clears throat> little reminder every time you go to use it, danger. So we have all these parts. I have them all spread out from our Whirlpool to the actual rotating dip tube, which is kind of cool. Flow control. That is just for the recirculation system, which this is an additional part. More about the recirculation and the pump system, including if I can get this, I'll remove this so you can see it. You have your through meter or thermometer, thermometer. Everybody comes up with these cool words. And basically it allows you to check the temperatures. That's what I was saying too in a previous video is that with the Therminator, you're gonna wanna recirculate some of the wart back into the kettle as you're going through this, just to make sure you're getting your temperature just right. Once you see the temperature is dropping just right, then you can move it over to your, and transfer it to wherever you're going to be fermenting or wherever you're transferring the liquid to for fermentation purposes, I hope. But yeah, that way you can verify the temperature before you just dump it into your plastic fermenter and go, oh my gosh, I just melted it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So over here, Big warning, wash product before use. You don't really have to if you're gonna test it with water, but before you do the brewing, then yeah, you, I would highly recommend it. Always wash it. But for your little test run, if you're just running water, it's all good, and then clean it or clean it and then run your test water. Either way, it doesn't matter. This includes some more additional clamps and Allen wrenches. You have additional bags over here that came with the Therminator to connect liquid. There are just a lot of moving parts, and I'm gonna go and do separate videos over every little section. I'm gonna take it apart if it's already connected, like the little rotating dip tube, and I'm going to build it in front of you so that you can see where all the parts go. We'll lay them out, connect it, connect it to the kettle, done. Next video, and we'll do that for each section. Like I said, some of the videos may be very short, but I would rather give extra information or more information. I was, concerned about a certain part. I went and watched a video and I actually out of four videos, I finally found one video that happened to show that one part. And I was like, oh, that's where that goes. <laughs> I was really concerned. But luckily somebody did a video showing that one exact spot and they pointed right at it and boom, the light bulb went off. I was excited, I was happy. So join me on this little journey to put together the Blickman Brew Easy Compact all-in-one brewing system gas or electric, this will be specifically a tri-clamp 240 volt, but it applies to almost everything in all the systems to some degree, there are some differences. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing, definitely appreciate the sharing. Let's get busy.